the touchline on white over Maxwell Wasike is my name. This time round, we want to speak about what's happening in France uh, at the Paris Olympics. And of course, our second question that will win you cash prizes at the tail end of the program is at what intervals does the Olympics take place? At what intervals does the Olympics take place. What you're going to do for you to win the cash prizes is visit our official Facebook page for Y254 channel and go to the comment section and submit your responses which we shall sample at the tail end of the program. Of course I'm still here with Ken Andrew but one man is joining us. Of course a reputable man as far as matters athletics is concerned and consultant and a journalist as well for the same discipline. Dennis, okay, good to see you bro. How are you doing man? Uh, good, thank you. Long time bana. Uko salama? Well, it's not bad. Nice it's to a busy know. season. Omanya Labana in the heat has managed to win it and qualify to the semi final stage. Is there a possibility for Kenya winning a gold medal? Actually, <laughs> it's not even Kenya. Of it's, um, meters final? When it comes to uh, 100 meters, we talk now to Africa. Uh, being the first, uh, no one has a. Uh, oh, in Africa? Yes. I didn't uh, know about that. Exactly. So yeah, yeah in, in, in uh, preliminary is all about making the, the second round, which is semis. Then after semis is the finals. Finals the same day as the semis. You know, you understand that? Oh, semis is the same day as with finals. finals. Yes. So you have to reserve your energy for, for the main for, for the main final. For for trials for uh, preliminaries uh, first round it's all about making the first two three first two three. Yeah, doesn't matter the time. And exactly that what uh, he, he did to, he managed. And all the stars, all the stars expected, Thompson, Seville, uh, Sembine, um, uh, Lale, Lale, yeah. all of them, they made it very easily. They sailed through very easily. So I think it's going to be enterprising uh, uh, finals. Uh, last time during Tokyo Olympics, you were here gracing the same show and your predictions came to pass. And uh, sometimes I see you disagreeing with fellow scribes because of your <laughs> <laughs> sad reality <laughs> predictions. <laughs> and now we're yes. talking about, you know, the possibilities of Kenyans conquering. I saw Mary Mora qualifying to the same final of 800 meters and uh, Faith Kibigon already made it to the final of 5,000, right? Actually, yeah, the fi that was the final. All, all the three representatives in uh, 5000, that was um, Margaret Chelimo, Chebet, and, and um, of course, uh, of course uh, Faith. Yes. They all made it to the final, easily, easily. That makes um, the, the, the final will be one of the, the, the events to watch I in Paris. So Kenyan gold medal is guaranteed in that particular race? I uh, personally am predicting one, two then we, you get five uh, for five. Because Ethiopians will not uh, let it easy. And uh, Sifa Nassan is also there, yeah, being the defending champion. Uh, definitely she's going to push. Though she also uh, running 10,000 and marathon. So um, I, I can say Sifan is one of the athletes to watch. Ethiopians, of, the, of course, they are there. Mary Mora also made it easily to the, to the, to the finals, 800. 800 semis, which is tomorrow, as well as uh, Lilian Odira, um, actually I think the first, probably the first person to, to represent, uh, uh, to come from uh, Migori County to the Olympics, <laughs> I'm pretty sure about that, <laughs> yes. Also um, Vivian Chebet, you know, World Athletics and Olympics, they introduced uh, something called uh, Repercharge. Repa oh, charge. Repa where all those who don't, don't make it to the finals, uh, to the, the next round, yeah, after doing the first round, all of them, they take one, one, one to six, or one to five, or one to four, then the rest will have an, a, chance, a, a chance to, to go for a second, uh, to get a, an opportunity to, to try and get the tie. And exactly um, uh, Vivian, Vivian uh, Chebet, she, she, go, she went a beneficiary of repercharge. Exactly. A and, few minutes ago. And in 800 meters, I and Ken last uh, Saturday on this particular show, we were talking about, you know, how we used to dominate 800 meters, the likes of, you know, uh, Pamela Jelimo, uh, Unisum. What really happened? Can we pull an upset? Uh, it's a 50-50. Have you checked uh, how the, the Briton, uh, she's called, uh, the name is disappearing. 
she has been very very good and Mora will need to be an extra extra uh, energy to to beat her in the finals but I, I predict Mora will make will make uh, a medal make, bracket but not necessarily gold exactly that's my predictions Ken you know uh, off the cuff before we started this segment Dennis was talking about how we can surpass uh, last uh, Olympics. Olympics performance just by a whisker. Probably we won four gold medals last time. This time round, his 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 prediction is maybe five. Yeah. I don't know. What what's your assessment about Kenyan chances this time round in think, athletics? Uh, I think it's probably right because our talents are mostly at the Olympics. Not even mostly, they are limited to athletics. So having increasing the number of gold medal is is not. We are not yet there. That's the truth. And uh, you look at the races we have this year, uh, I think um, the one maybe we can, we can expect a medal or maybe to, to push for a medal is maybe the new race is maybe 100 meters because the other races we'd expect medals and not a lot of them, gold medals. So I don't think we're going to surpass it by much, maybe by one, two again, as he said. And also the races will be tight, you know. As also I've had when we were conversing before the, the cameras got on, you know, the possibility of the lineup of the 100 meters finals, you know, it won't be an easy showing again for Manyala because the stars will also try to push him out, you know. And uh, again, I'd say Noah Lyles and all those guys, you know, it won't be easy. So if we get a medal in that one, maybe that will be the the one added to our previous our previous tally for 2020. Yeah. Transition of uh, Helen Obiri to marathon. marathon. How will it work out? She she has been. Um, is she, I think she's the only person, Kenyan, who has won all the, the, the events. Yeah, from cross country, uh, uh, indoors, uh, marathon. I mean, she has the biggest chance of uh, making, making it uh, to the podium once again in Paris. I was talking to her just before she went to, to, to her new base in the States, and she was telling me that um, her main challenge is to make sure she represents the country in Olympic, and now Olympic is here. And having, having um, sh uh, the likes of uh, Sharon Lokedi, having Paris Chirchir in the team, Paris is actually the defending champion. So you expect the team to do very well. And for Kenya, when you don't win gold in such events, then it's under performance. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we <laughs> don't expect them. Meant for us. Yeah, for that, for uh, I, I'll pinpoint uh, the women uh, marathon. We want gold. Nothing That's less. sure a bit because we've been doing it all along. Yes, and actually we can do a podium sweep. One, two, three. Yes, it's possible. Yeah, Lokedi, Sharon Lokedi, the American-based uh, runner. She's uh, in very good shape. I was with her two weeks just before she left. They left to uh, to, to to Paris. She was um, in top shape, I think. So we can emulate what we did in Tokyo, the races that we bagged gold medals, 1,500 meters, men and women? Men, men is, a, is a slim chance. We, we, we coming in as a second. second um, we, uh, we, we check the Britons and, and the Norwegian in the Britain. They are really good. They are top of their league, their, their performance this, this season. And uh, Timothy is our biggest bet. She's, he is coming out uh, from um, injury. Jelly, yeah. yeah. Probably we can say she, he is a, he's at 80% uh, in Fit. terms of fitness. Brian Komen, the guy who went, uh, who went to, to African Games, won it. Uh, he went to, to uh, African Championship, he won it. He made his, uh, his debut at uh, Diamond League in Doha. He won it. Actually... He, is, uh, he has the, 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 the best time this season. He has, I think, 3.28. So for 1,500 meters women and 5,000 meters women, that's where our sure bet lies. Yes. We, Don't we you think we tend to rely on faith and we overburden her? The, the worst <laughs> thing is, after this, faith will be concentrating on, 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 uh, on, on marathon. Yes. No, the question is, who will come, come in after faith? I can bet it will take like five to ten years. So there is no transition program? I can't pinpoint any athletes who can um, match in and, and give the same performance faith is currently giving. So we expect faith 
to give us a gold medal in, in 1500. We expect her to do the same alongside uh, uh, Chebet, British Chebet. Chebet is actually one of the top, top uh, athletes uh, primed for, for gold medal. And at the, the same, Chebet with faith will be running, f uh, Chebet will be running also 10. And that uh, actually is our current uh, specialization. Ken, probably lack of proper transition mechanism is the yeah. same reason as to why we are not winning in 3,000 meter steeplechase. You mm. remember <laughs> the likes of Ezekiel Kembo <laughs> used to dominate that yeah. particular race, but uh, lately yeah. it has not been, yeah. it's been elusive for us. So we yeah. need to put yeah. in place strategic measures that will yeah. ensure that, you know, when the aging athletes yeah. retire, there is replacement. Yeah, and that is definitely down to the scouting and athletics Kenya as a whole because uh, We've seen Kenyans in, in athletics, they can, they can achieve it all, but when it comes to their replacement, they may not be as best as the, the person who was there before them. When you speak of the case of faith, you've seen the records that faith has been breaking over the years, and you ask, can someone step up to be at that level on a whim? Because when she leaves, you expect an immediate you know, transition and everything, but it won't be available because what she has done it takes time, practice, and, and a lot of investment for some, to find someone like Faith. And it will, it will happen for a lot of the races, I believe, because even right now when we speak of, of the sprints, you know, everyone will be talking about it. You know, who's, who else is there? You know, when you, when you seriously take a look at it, who else is there who can represent Kenya at the Olympic stage and, and have a chance, you know, of getting a, a, a podium finish or something. Or a finals. The, yeah, or a finals, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably we, we, we need to relook at the events that are being done and how we can come with new replacements that are of the same quality or similar quality to the ones that were there before. And uh, it's the same, as you said, the 3,000 meters, we, you know, people would enjoy to see Kemboy doing his antics after his own, but for a while now, you know, it has not been that so proper transition it just falls back to athletics and the people who manage it to find the replacement actually maybe maybe i may, I may add on on a, on a transition and especially in a, a long distance running in kenya now most um the, the something that people don't understand what's actually happening there's a reason why you have so many marathoners in fact we had 34 men marathoner who had qualified for the olympics the question is no, actually, it's not the question. The reason is most people r are running away from the field events oh. or from the track. They are going to the, to the marathon. That's where money is. All of us, we are after money, after all. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so the, one of the reasons why um, uh, you, you find um, the level of uh, uh, competition in, in stupidity has, has, has declined is because, is actually because most people, most athletes, they're running away to, to, to marathon. Previously, marathons were meant for retirement. Yes. People were running, dominate uh, uh, field, uh, then you, you dominate track, then you go, you transit to, to, marathon. To, to marathon. But now, they're starting actually at the marathon. Marathon. Look at the Kevin. Kevin, the late Kevin Kiptum. Yes. The, the, the boy never ran, ran participated in any athletes Kenya track and field meet. He started straight in marathon. At his tender age, yes. Nowadays, you find, you find I, I, I'm always, you know, I'm always in, in a The late Valley. Samuel Wanjiru, besides marathon, did he participate in no. any other race? No. <laughs> they started straight to, they're actually entering marathon at the age of 20, uh, 19, 20, 21. And that's the reason why they don't last long. By the time they hit the age 20, they are out. Because retire. Uh, uh, the marathon is meant for exit. <laughs> As someone who has traversed the global space due to athletics, I'm pretty sure you meet stakeholders of the sports outside there and they associate Kenya with athletics. And when they talk of athletics, they know David Rudisha, they know Ezekiel Kemboi, they know Eliud Kipchoge. In your mind, how would uh, David Rudisha, 800 meters world record holder, feel seeing his race getting broken by... The Probably Kenyan. someone who is not a Kenyan, or let's assume a Kenyan. Probably uh, Wanyonyi is doing it on his behalf. That you would look beautiful, <laughs> right? But it's impossible. Have you, have you ever noticed that um, 
whenever 800 meter uh, event is going on, say Co is always there. You ask, ask, ask yourself que the question The president why. of World Athletics. Yeah, because he has previously won, b broken oh. that world record. And that is the reason why he has a very close relationship with David Rudisha. Because Rudisha took the, uh, the world record yeah, from him. Yeah, is an event that is associated with. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that um, uh, Rudisha will be very, very happy to, to, to see a fellow Kenyan coming close or breaking the yes. his own record. And is that possible, especially in this particular uh, uh, <laughs> championship? Can no, Kenya no, win a gold medal in 800 meters? You know, uh, uh, going to 2020, 2020, 2012, uh, London uh, Olympics, he had actually broken the, the world record twice. You remember that? Yes, yes. In reality, on some um, Diamond League event or uh, World Challenge event. So, even this one, for someone to actually to break that record, yeah, you need to have actually prepared yourself before Paris Olympic. Oh. And we look at uh, the, 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 the most, the most um, uh, active athletes who can actually come close to that, uh, to that record is um, Sejeti from Algeria and Emmanuel Wanyonyi from Kenya. Kenya. There are only two I, I can uh, pin. Uh, pin their, their performance to say that they are close to that. But I don't see a record being broken. Despite, the track is very, very fast for, for sprinters. You, yesterday, you see uh, uh, for, um, in mixed relay, US yes. just breaking easily the world record. And the wait for, for Kenya to win a medal in 10,000 meters women, men continues after last night's happening. Joshua Cheptege of Uganda being the first Uganda to win an Olympic medal, right? And he's the three-time world champion. No. Has no. Uh, another Ugandan ever bagged a gold medal in 10,000 10, meters men no. at the Olympic stage? No, not yet. You know, um, he has actually been preparing for, for this because this was going to be his last track in, 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 in running. He's actually transiting to, 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 to marathon. So uh, seeing, uh, seeing him uh, going in winning, uh, winning a, a gold medal. And that event was very tactical. Remember, Ethiopia tried all the tactics. Yes, yes. Yeah. You, 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 you look at you look at the American uh, uh, who won uh, silver, uh, bronze. I mean, all of them, they were prepared. But again, it goes, goes back to what I said. Most Good Kenyan runners are going to marathon. They are not concentrating on oh. on on uh, on, um, on track, track events. Yeah. Look at um, the guy who, who was number five. That's um, Bernard Kibet. He's based in Japan. He's a marathon. He's a 21 kilometer runner. He's a half marathon meter runner. Kimeli, mar half marathon uh, uh, marathon uh, meter runner. Look at um, Daniel. The, the, the guy who won Kenyan uh, trials in, 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 in states, Oregon, is a actu is the guy who paced who paced um, Kiptum when he was breaking the world record. Oh, yes. And 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 <laughs> so all of these people are they already marathoners. Mm -hmm. And talking yeah. about marathon, what are our chances? Eliud Kipchoge, you know, all eyes are on him, and we, we also tend to mount overwhelming pressure on him despite his age and of course he has done a lot for Kenya breaking the uh, the marathon and winning bagging several gold medals for this particular country making us proud generally yes yeah. should we <laughs> minimize our pressure on even if in terms of expectations yeah, even even if um, yeah the Kenyans need to lower their expectations yes yeah considering everyone is prepared for the, the same event exactly. and everyone want to beat him is the man to beat but we have a strong representation in, uh, in, in uh, Benson, Kipruto. He's a brilliant distance runner. Expect something good from him. Um, Munyao, Alexander Munyao. Exactly, Munyao. You know, I, I remember I was telling people, uh, just b before the team wa was announced that uh, there's someone called uh, Alexander Munyao who needs to be that team. People are asking me, who is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's remember? a strange name. Yeah, it's a but strange name. But you can pull yeah. a big surprise. Exactly. Right? And it, for sure, he went, he went, won the London to make sure that um, his name was up there. He's, um, I think he's now ranked 13th, no, uh, 4th in the world. 
This season, Eliud is ranked 13th. Yes, that's a fact you guys have to, make, to, to face. But it will be a good, good performance for him to win gold medal for the third consecutive time at the Olympic level. And it will be a, a, actually a, a legacy for his own sponsors, Nike. Your, 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 your overall projections about Kenyan performance, of course, it's only in athletics where we expecting gold. Generally, what are your thoughts and assessment on uh, I was, I was, the upcoming I was, races in athletics for Apart Kenya? from uh, track, I was um, really impressed by, by Alexandria uh, uh, Ndolo no. in fencing. In fencing? Yeah, making, being the first Kenyan to, uh, to, 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 to play at, at that level, Olympic level. I know Fencing is not a big sport in the country, exactly. but it's a good introduction. People, uh, the federation, the schools should embrace it mm -hmm. for to, in order, at least for in, uh, in 2028 20, um, Los Angeles Olympic, maybe we can have another, another representation. I'm pretty sure um, Alexandria will be able to try and push the game into, in, in, into, the, into the Kenyan culture. Mm -hmm. Wow, Dennis Oke, a reputable athletics consultant and uh, sports journalist, joining us this particular afternoon to give his perspective and insights regarding Paris Olympics and expectations in terms of athletics. The last time he was on this particular show, when it was happening in Tokyo, his projections came to pass. And this time round, of course, we will be hoping that he joins us next weekend on Saturday after several races have taken in between this week to see how it will pan out as we head to the tail end of the competition. Thank you, Deno, for joining us. And of course, we're Thank looking you. forward to see how Kenyan reigns supreme in Paris Olympics. We're going to take a short break, but before we do, we continue with, you know, adding the cash prizes and we reiterate our question that uh, which, at what interval is the Olympics does the Olympics take place? At what interval does the Olympics take place? What you're going to do for you to win the cash prize available is visit the Y254 official Facebook page and go to the comment section and submit your responses, which we will sample at the tail end of the show. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We're coming up next with the talk regarding international football.